Hi guys, this is Jeff at the Gorish Uncertainty. It is the 30th of June, the 30th of June. Um, well, good win, a good win last night. That was fun. That turned things round, didn't it? That was marvellous. It just goes to show, one turns it around, turns it around. Um, and you can't shy away from it, the fact it was a maximum bet. Is a maximum bet and you can't let the, the psychology of it and what it does to you start to um, beat you down um, you, you just you can't do that you've got to stick with a proven source and uh, that's what we did anyway yeah so what is beauty was it I can't remember um, six point win on at fours I got a bit more than that actually I went just before the off on the exchanges and I got uh, it was about 92 around 92 um which was good so yeah right so the point of this message is um there is a race i want to have a go at and it is the last race at chester so we've got plenty of time i've got loads of stuff to do work-wise and i don't want to rush it just for that as my mother used to say don't spoil it for an apath of tar what does that mean it means you can't get the job done and don't spoil it for just a little bit of tar. I think you know what I mean. So I'm not going to spoil it for an apath of tar. Um, so I'm going to be back online later. Like I said, we've got plenty of time. The market's going to settle down. You know, it, it's uh, people say about people are saying about you know I could only get four to one. I could only get three to one or seven to two about that horse yesterday. But really, if your whole betting relies on half a point for one horse it all evens out in the end it all evens out so all the stress of trying to get the best price here the best price there it's um it, it's unnecessary you don't you don't need to do that you don't just do the best that you can and don't beat yourself up because uh, you don't beat yourself up if you didn't get the best price and it lost uh best price when it wins but then like I say, it will all even out. But what I would say, Betfair Exchange. Betfair Exchange. That is the only one I give my money to. It's the only one. I don't want to I don't want to give it anymore. I mean I'll I'll use prices like Bet365 at 4 to 1 because I have to use something to show um on on here. I've got to use something to validate my um pricing so that's the only that's the only reason i use it i don't use regular bookmakers i just use the exchanges i put you i could i couldn't put up a price for the exchanges because the market develops through the day so as i said about um buddy's beauty yesterday so uh, you know i I waited till the last second before I put it on, but I have to show something on the account here, so that's what I do. Anyway, back to it. Um, I am feeling a lot better, thanks Tinks for that. Um, and yes, and everybody else, and uh, thank you for your comments. I am feeling a lot better. I am far from 100%. Um, no, that's a bit dramatic. I just, I still don't feel very well, but. We have to keep going, what's the point? What's the point? And as I've said before, it's not a pity party, but from all of the chaos, order shall descend. That's what will happen, it always does. Right, so logical thinking, not emotional thinking. I should be back online at around half past six tonight, half six, because we may be playing in the last race. It's a big sprint. Um, at Chester at 9 o'clock. That's it. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye for now. Bye-bye.